This is Agenda TV. Sauti ya mwananchi.
Now that is exactly two minutes. We give him a profit of that. Two minutes. That's what we're going for. Now. Mimi nafata maadili ya mweshimu wa reila. Hamesema siyasa ya 2022 tuweke kando. Kenya is pregnant now. Na mwanamuke akiwa na mimba, hata ufanye ndini ndume, hawezi ongeza mimba ingine. Lazima azai. Kenya is pregnant with BBI. Let's focus on BBI. Paka mtoto azaliwe. Na kuna jamaa moja rafiki yangu, jirani yangu. Muna mjua vizuri. Sijui yuko no, sijui yuko yes, sijui yuko wapi. Na kama hauna musimamo, hawezi tune bibi. William Ruto decide today or we send you home. Thank you. Tutaeza fanya yote. Lakini amani ya inji yetu ya Kenya ni muhimu. Tunaeza kuwa tafauti kwa mirengo mbali mbali. Lakini vile mwishme wa mwenyinyi jirani yangu, rafiki yangu, wako hapa. Anajua mimi niko upande mwingine kidogo. And I'm synonymous with itangata. Liwe liwalo, hapa ndio mimi niko. Na nasema wanainji tukae pamoja. Jue kwamba mambo ni bado na wanainji lazima tujue maisha yenu inaenda na muna gani. Hii injini ya wakenya wote. Na hawa watu wote wakenya hao ndiyo wenye mamlaka. Sisi kama viongozi, hasa wabunge, our only role is to midwife a process that Kenyans will have an opportunity either to say yes or to say no. That is our role as leaders. As we midwife the process, we must do it in a manner that is transparent because Kenya is a democracy. You may not necessarily agree with what I say, but you have to listen to me. I may not necessarily agree with you, but I must equally listen to you. And the problem that we face as a country is that uh, we think that, uh, that uh, the, pro the solutions to our problems can be manufactured elsewhere. The solution to our problems as a country can only be manufactured by ourselves, but in terms of uh, the leaders that we put in position. Hakuna kitu ngini ambayo sisi tunataka. Mimi sina manjeno mengi, mimi sina manjeno mengi. Uyo mweshimu wa mnyenye na kweshimu. Lakini sisi kama wa Kenya, tupatiwe na fasi ili mapendekezo yetu ya julikane. Na tunangoja kama kura ya mamusi itakapokuja. We will make our decision on the ballot. Thank you very much. So yangu ni kuwaomba tu, lakini the way we engage with the MCS, we will engage with the MPs. And I'm happy hata kusikia kutoka kwao siku ya leo. Bila kujali mirengo nimesikia hapa muambu ambaye ako mirengo tofauti na wamunyinyi wamesema hapa ya kwamba mirengo wataweka kando waweze kusupport what will move this country forward. That is leadership. That is what we are talking about. We are a region that has given this country great leaders. From Muliro to Jaramogi, this region has been on the forefront from the first liberation to the second liberation, and when we are talking about the third and final liberation, to Siachwe Nyuma, it's a test of leadership for a great region that has given great leaders. So wale mukona nafasi, mwe MCS, wabunge, magavana, tafadhali tushikane to maintain that history. Na tukisha maliza, bunge sio mwisho. Step ya kwanza ilikuwa sahihi, tulikuja hapa mkatupa. Step ya pili ikawa county assemblies. Tumepita hapo. Step ya tatu tunaenda bunge. Lakini tukishamaliza pale pia na waomba. And I want to particularly plead with the governors. We must provide leadership. Ili turudi kwa wanainchi. Sababu wao ndiyo wenye inchi hii. Na lazima tuende kwao. We must do proper civic education. Wanainchi waelewe ni kwa nini tunataka tubadilishe hii katiba. Kwa nini tunasema kandui ipewe constituency ya pili? Mama lielala, kina mama ndiyo wanajua wakati wanja. Kulini. We join you in mourning our mom, the people of Kisi, 
have sent me here with their condolences. Pole, pole sana. Our brother Wycliffe Wangamati, we join you in mourning and celebrating the life of Mama Selina, a caring, supportive mother, sister, grandmother, mentor, and friends to many. This can be witnessed by the number of people gathered here today, both young and old, to pay their last respects to this matriarch. Mama Selina, as we all recall, lived our life with a passion for love and acceptance of all people. This was showcased in her professional life, where she served as a nurse in various medical institutions and attended to the needs of the sick and the communities she served with humility, following the aspirations of Florence Nightingale working for the community. She was a good example that hard work and dedication pays as she became the pioneer nutritionist at the then Bungoma District Hostel, serving Kenyans with commodities like, and helping those especially with diabetes and other diseases. Tumeiangalia kwa kisheria Na mimi hata sasa ukiuliza wakili ambaye anaenda kotini hata kama serikali uhuru amekosea mtu mimi mpaka sasa naenda kotini mpaka sasa mpaka sasa lakini hii nimeichunguza hata kama mambo ya mahakama mambo ya devolution hii BBI Judge it by what is there in the content. Judge the content. Na mujue ya kwamba katika hafika hii kulikuwa mtu anaitu Mobutu. Mobutu alikuwa ni kiongozi ya inchi ambao inamali zaidi ya inchi zingine ya Afrika nzima. Lakini alifilisika ile inchi Kwa sabu alikuwa napatia watu peremende na vitu kama hiyo. Kwa hiyo, hapa Kenya hatutaki mobutu kamwe. Kwa hayo, mungu waweke mama mahalipema peponi. Asante sana. Thank you, Jimmy. Tuengi sasa ambao wanapigania vio, lakini wakati ambapo watu wanapigania kuleta marekebishu ama mageuzi, watu ni wachache sana. Na mimi nataka kupongeza masinde muliro, mimi nimeshikwa na masinde muliro kule Nairobi pamoja na shikuku tukaleta masinde muliro mpaka Kitale. Tuko kwa ndege moja. Yeye tumemwacha Kitale lakini wabukusu walikuja kule Kitale kwa wingi walitaka kuweka maskati huu ni wakati wa kufikiria Kenya hii bila kuingilia mambo ya kikabila na hii bungoma ndi itakuwa mstari wa mbele nina hakika na wamala na, kum, na, na taka ni kupatie heshima kubwa sana kwa, babu, kwa sabu huko kwa mstari wa mbele na wewe tulikuwa na wewe na ndugu yako we trained you and you trained you very well na, na, na oparanya Oparanya. Kwa mambo ya BBI unajua mimi ni rifari Siwezi kusema mengi But I want to confirm That we have received so far 38 copies Bills kutoka kwa county zetu We only needed 24 to endele na kazi as a, as a senate and as a national assembly Kwa sababu nimekua ni kiongea na ndugu yangu Tuko tayari kuwakikisha kwamba katiba inafuatwa ili wana Kenya waamue vile wanataka that is their responsibility na vile mheshimiwa Eugene amesema ninahitaji maombi unajua ku na watu kama mheshimiwa Orengo sometimes mumeona ile nimepitia wale na abiria kwa mlilo tu cannot become a cook never aspire to be. If, if you if you are fire or smoke never aspire to be a cook sasa mimi niko huko tu nitangangana na hiyo moshi paka tuone kwamba inji hii inaelekea mahali pema for those who are in leadership, to find a cause. Politics is not about hatred. Politics is about building and changing the lives of your people.
Kukana na kutusiana kwa matanga Wapendwa tuweshimu Mwishmiwa Prime Minister Yuko hapa Ngoja na muongelesha nduku yangu You are a freedom fighter Wakati wanainji wa Kenya wanalia When we are discussing BBI Walimu waka hapa wanaumia Takitare wanaumia Maitachi ya watu wote Iwekwe ndani Ili isonge pamoja Isiwe tu viongozi wa juu peke yao Mungu wa bariki na mungu wa walinde Asana Uviongozi wetu walisema Ya kwamba uongozi Wa waluhia Itatokia huko chini Lake Victoria Watu wengine wanasema Ati Raila Awawachie si ati, ati wakati huu Nilabukakati wa Raila sasa kuritaya Na kuwawachia Lakini Raila awawachie nini Sasa Raila anawacha nini Na walikuwa wanatafuta Pamoja u presidency Na Raila hajapata U presidency Sasa unawachia mtu kitu ambaye wewe unayo How do you live to somebody What you don't have So what we are telling them Sasa tuwache Siasa ya 2022 Tuendele Na B B I Alavu wayo mangine We usiwe mnyonge Ati we utawachiliwa Utawachiliwa sababu gani we Kama ni muamna mme Sibama kama ni muamna mme na uwende le mbele Usingwaji ati we utawachiliwa Utawachiliwa na nani Viongozi ya wachiliwi Kiongo, viongozi wanaishi wenyewe diyo wanaamua Sisi kama wabunge Wiki jayo tunaanza mikakati pia ya kupitisha hiyo BBI Ninakaa kwa ile kamati ya house business national assembly Tunawakikisha kwamba wiki jayo tunaanza mikakati Vile vile ata sisi tutapitisha hiyo BBI Kwa sababu hiko na maneno mzuri ambayo inausu kila mkenya Ya pili, unajua mwishmiwa Prime Minister, mimi nasema, napenda kusema ukweli. Ata muna kumbuka December, tukiwa kule kwa matanga ya mama ya mwishmiwa mabonga. Baba ya mwishmiwa mabonga. Mimi nilisimama kule, nikambia Deputy President, maneno kama ya mekahapu. Na mimi nilisikia badae Raisu Uru Kenyata Akasema hiyo maneno Ada mwishmia Raila Akasema hiyo maneno Na wakenya wengi wakakubaliana na mimi Leo pia nataka kusema ukweli Mwishmia Raila Udinga Lawyers respect you Lawyers trust you Because When this country was going through hell because of Kanu dictatorship, you stood firm, you went to prison on behalf of these Kenyans. When Kenyans wanted multi-party, you joined hands with Masinda Muliro, Jaramogi Udinga Udinga, James Orengo, Shikuku, and others, and we got multi-party in this country. When Kenyans wanted a new constitution, you fought hard alongside other leaders. Mukatuletea katiba mpia. And when this country wanted that handshake, you went for the handshake with President Uhuru Kenyatta. And now, we are going to look at the constitution of this country. Prime Minister, these lawyers trust you. These lawyers respect you. We are saying that our other brothers whom we respect in this region, ambao wanataka urais, tunawaeshimu, nyinyi ni ndugu zetu, you are senior than some of us, but the respect you will get from these people will be earned. Don't wait for endorsement. It is to demonstrate to the lawyers that you can lead from the front. When Honorable Raila Udinga went for the handshake, 
we were told by many people here doubting Thomas says that he, yeye ameuza opposition lakini wenzetu wakasema kwa vile Raila ameenda kwa handshake wataingia opposition na waongoze opposition sisi hatujaona kama wanaongoza opposition wamerudi mlango ya nyuma wakaenda wakajoni Raila kwa handshake sasa msikuje hapa mnaambia waluya wetu wakuwe na chuki kwa Raila Udinga kwa sababu mnatafuta endorsement sisi tunasema baba Raila Udinga azine pale mbaye vijana wanaweza kwenda na kukoposha pesa ya kuanzisha miradi ya maendeleo na hawalipi riba mpaka baada ya miaka saba interest free capital interest free capital waanze nao biashara ya maana ambayo wanaanza wao vijana wanaanza kuwa sasa waajiri badala kukua waajiriwa hiyo ni tofauti kubwa maana yake wengine mbele ni huko walikuwa wameahidi ati watakuwa nazalisha kazi milioni moja kila mwaka hiyo kazi ijaonekana ijaonekana hiyo milioni sasa wanaanza kusema oh mtu mdogo mama wa mboga si mtu wa mkokoteni si hilbaro hiyo takataka yote hiyo waliwahidi vijana ati ndani ya miezi sita kila mtoto atakuwa na laptop katika shule hao watoto sasa wako kwa darasa ya nani hiyo laptop hajaona hiyo laptop alienda wapi sasa unamwambia wanataka wapate filbaro sisi tumesema tuna hii maneno tunaleta ni revolutionary hii ni ambayo itakwenda kutransform maisha ya wakenya kule chini mashinani hii mambo ya bbi na no, mama vile vile tunasema mama waende kwa bunge ili tuwe na asilimia 33 tutas gender rule itakuwa implemented ndani ya hii BBI. Kwa hivyo BBI ni kama dhahabu au almasi. Hii ni kama almasi. Wengine wanataka kuuza kama mavi. Hawaelewi. Hawaelewi. Ama sivyo. Kwa hivyo sisi tunasema tunataka wa Kenya watembee pamoja. Tunatoa shukrani kwa ba MCS Watt. Uru aliniambia ati yeye ataleta counties uh, kumi, kumi zote za Mount Kenya, Lima Kenya. Mimi nikamwambia na sisi huko ukanda la Ziwa ya Victoria tuko na counties kumi na moja Yote watasema ndiyo Si wanasema ndiyo Watu kwa nyumba yake mchana kule Ngong Road mbele ya watoto yake alipigwa risasi akawao kwa sababu jamaa walikuwa hawataki mambo ya ugatuzi lakini ugatuzi tulileta kwa nguvu kwa hivyo tukasema hii ugatuzi mpaka sasa sisi tuilinde kisheria maana yake hapo tulisema ati pesa itatoka na robi tukasema minimum 15% wengine unasema hakuna haja ya kubadilisha katiba maneke nasema minimum 50% hawaelewi wale wako juu mtaadamu mbaya na kudanganya wewe leo namna hii akienda kule juu hata kubali